or warrior versus warrior. We're keeping our fire plume. Sorry. If I knew for a fact he was pirates, I would consider mulligan it. He kept the leftmost cards. So I think there's actually a very good chance that he's playing quest as well. Yep. Rude. I was I was considering doing that to him. Now I'm down one of my quest. I wish he'd hit like King Mosh. I don't particularly want to trade here. This is awkward. Yeah, I think Dirty Red is one of the best cards in the current metagame. It's just so good. Can Whirlwind, War Axe, this attack here. He's actually ahead of me in the quest because he because of the dirty rat. I have three three in my hand though, so I'm not too far behind in terms of it. He took a turn off from playing one as well. Let's go double AOE or something here. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we can war axe this down. Hit him with this. Would I rather Ally Armorsmith or Direhorn first? I think I have Ally Armorsmith here in part because I have the execute. Also, just being able to build up armor has some value. My opponent has shield block. I'm not really sure what this suggests he doesn't have. So he has a Primordial Drake next turn. Do I want to execute this? I could just attack, attack, play a Dire Horn, and save my execute. I kind of want to save my execute for Primordial Drake because it's much harder to kill. Because this we can just cut this guy. I guess save my execute. Obviously, this guy getting to attack multiple times is pretty valuable, though, because he gains armor. Uh, this guy's so good in the mirror. This is just so good. Um. Well, I could just Ravaging Ghoul execute here. By Ravaging Ghoul, execute, attack here, attack here. We're like pretty far ahead on the board. I get to play this. How much do I, I don't really care too much. Eh, it probably is important that I'm actually like ahead on the board. Unless he plays a Drake. Yeah. I'm still so far behind in taunts. I, I got Dirty Red and I have not drawn a Stonehill Defender or Curator. I'm behind like every axis here. What do you think about Sleep with the Fishes? I don't, fi I don't find Sleep with the Fishes to be all that important. Good there. I mean, it didn't really wreck me there. Like my having a board like that. Ugh. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, we're just we're just losing to the dirty rats. He's just he just dirty got to dirty rat me twice. I never got to dirty rat him, so I'm two uh, two taunts behind. I'm just dead because because of, of the dirty rats and not drawing Stonehill Defender. I mean, I could theoretically still draw Stonehill Defender and get back on a turn, but I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna lose a soul for us here. I guess my only hope is really to brawl and hope one of my guys wins. I can't afford to. I guess I can't. No, I can't afford to like attack into this execute or anything or like attack your execute because he'll this will just die to Sulfurus and he'll just be ahead. So I have to brawl and hope hope this guy wins almost entirely. All right. 
least my guy won. I'm still gonna lose to self rest though. If we draw Stonehold Defender this turn, maybe we can come back. But the the quest is all about um, the quest mirror is all about who just get, who just gets to self rest first, pretty much. I do Stonehold Defender, okay. Um, Tarlord doesn't die. I think I should just take Tarlord. I can't play the, the Sulfurus this turn. This, yeah, I'll take Tarlord. Hey, we want a brawl. Okay. Let's start drawing minions. Start drawing like sweet things. Whirlwind is not a minion, in case you're curious. I'm actually ahead now? Just in terms of the damage race? He has two swings of this, I only have one swing of this, but like. Well, that's not ahead in the damage race anymore. It's actually kind of awkward. Um, I want to get the damage to face here. I think I would rather Whirlwind Execute than Dirty Red Hero Power. Actually... Like, I'd rather get the 8 damage to face, that's what this is about, like, actually uh, enabling these. He has no minions in his hand. I don't want to rat first because I don't want to let him execute this and potentially not have to waste a fireball hit on it. Alright, I'm not dead. Oh my god, that's literally the best draw in my deck. Because it represents two things. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna win thanks to this Stonehill Defender draw. The the last miracle turn. If he doesn't draw a minion, we're guaranteed to hit face. He's actually I'm at 17, which is a crucial number because he can't hit my face twice with this. Sure. He has to play a minion or he dies. And that's why Stonehill Defender is the real MVP.